Okay, so for this uh, 45 minute workout session, if you have a wall nearby you, that will be handy, or a door, whatever, can just, you can flatten yourself on. Uh, and either blocks or an object, it doesn't matter, we're not actually gonna use the blocks necessarily, it's just to hook our leg over. So whether that's a cushion or a block or a tin or a dog. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay, so feet hip distance apart. Just stretch the toes out. Give your shoulders a couple of rolls down your back. Okay, taking your right arm, just sweeping it all the way back behind you. Just loosen it off through that shoulder. And then change direction, go forwards. And then switching arms, take the left arm back. And forwards. And then take both arms up to the ceiling, take a big breath in. As you exhale, go round through the arms, tuck the chin, roll down all the way through to the feet. So the head and arms be floppy. At the base of the fold, take a big breath in. As you exhale, rolling back up to standing, Inhale, reaching the arms overhead. So take another roll down. So exhale as you come through, rippling through the spine, little bend in the knees. At the base of the fold, take a breath in. And exhale, rolling back up. Inhale, lifting the arms. Exhale, rolling through. Base of the fold, take a big breath in. Exhale, rolling back up. Inhale, lift the arms. Take one more. Exhale. Holding the base of the fold, hang on to alternate elbows. Just take a little sway from one side to the other. Let's loosen off a little bit through the body. Bring the hands to the shins. As you inhale, take a halfway lift. Exhale, bring the hands to the mat and walk the feet back into your downward facing dog. So similarly here, just keep some movement coming through the body, so paddle through the feet, stretch the legs out, sway the hips. Keep the breaths moving nice and strong. From here, lift the bend in the knees, walk your hands back towards your feet, paddle them back towards you. Take a breath in at the back of the mat there. As you exhale, walk the hands back forwards, back into your downward dog. And then back again to your feet. And then forwards to downward dog. So then take as little or as few hand steps as you can. So if you can do it in maybe two, back, or maybe just one, sliding all the way forwards, and all the way back again. Taking that a couple more times, forwards, and back, forwards, and back, holding at the back of the mat when you're in your fold. Take a halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs. Slowly rolling up to standing. Again, take the arms overhead as you rise, big breath in. Exhale, rolling all the way back down again to the feet. Walk your hands back forwards into a plank position. Holding plank. You can have the knees on the floor if you wish to. Otherwise, keep the heels stacked above the balls of the feet. Knees are pulling up so thighs are engaged. Use the glutes if that helps. Pull lower belly to spine and then push through the hands so the upper back feels really open and domed. Like you're trying to lift the chest as high up off the floor as you can. Again, you can stay on the knees here if you need to. You're going to take uh, the right forearm down to the mat and then the left forearm down to the mat. Come back onto the right palm and then back onto the left palm. Lower the left forearm, then the right forearm, left palm, right palm, right forearm, left down, right up, left up, left down, right down, left up, right up. Right up. Hold in, take a breath in. As you exhale, bring the knees to the floor if they aren't already, chest to the ground. Inhale, slide forwards and up, come into Cobra. 
taking the cobra just as low as your back muscles can hold you. So float the hands off the floor, squeeze the elbows into the waist, shoulder blades squeeze together. Take a breath in. As you exhale, look around towards your right. Try and squeeze that right elbow to tap your right buttock or right outer hip. Inhale, come through to the center. Exhale, squeeze the left elbow towards that left outer hip. Inhale, come back to the center. Keep the feet rooted to the floor. Once more, either side. Exhale towards the right. Inhaling center. Exhale to left. Inhale, center. Bring the hands to the floor. Press back up to plank position and back into your downward dog. Swing the hips from side to side to so stretch out the side body. And then bring the gaze to your hands. You can step, walk, or jump the feet up to the top of the mat. Take a half body lift as you inhale. Exhale, fold into the legs. Take the big toes to come to meet. Deep bend in the knees, come into your chair pose, reaching the arms up. Sink low towards the heels of your feet. So sink bum down and then take the weight back. So your toes should peep underneath your knees there. If you look down, you should see the toes and the toes should feel really light to the ground. Press the knees together, squeeze through the buttocks, sink the hips lower towards the floor. Keep reaching the fingers up towards the ceiling. Each time you exhale, pull belly into the spine. We're going to take four drops of the body with your side through the mouth. So take a breath in where you are. As you exhale, dropping down. Inhale, catch the pose again. So arms swing. Exhale, drop. Inhale. Two more. Exhaling. Last one. Inhale, holding chair pose. Bring the hands to the heart center. Bring your left elbow towards the right thigh into a twist. Tapping it in, press the palms together. Inhale, come back through to center. Exhale, right elbow to left thigh, pressing them in, turn the chest. Inhale, come through center. Again, exhale, left elbow to right thigh, holding there. See if you can keep the knees pressing together, but pick up the left toes. So you're taking the weight just on that right foot. Send the left toes back behind you as slowly as you can and take the toes down to the floor. Wobbling is allowed. As you inhale, lift the hands up to the ceiling. Just staying in this lunge with that right knee reaching forwards. Keep a soft bend into the back knee as well, so both knees feel fairly springy. Just taking little pulses here. So down and up, down and up. Rather than going forwards, think going down. So the back knee bends towards the floor and up again. Make sure the front heel of the foot is pushing into the ground, which is going to help to activate the front glutes and the hamstring underneath, underneath here should feel really active. Keep it going. <sighs> Breathe as you need to. Take another four. Three. Two. And one. From here, we're coming to warrior three, arms reaching back. So transfer the weight onto that front leg. Holding warrior three. Take a breath in with your arms reaching backwards. As you exhale, sweep the arms towards the mat and then out in front of you. Inhale, down to the mat, sweep them back. Exhale, down and forwards. So two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, reach them forward, step back into your chair pose, arms lifting, take a breath in, make sure your big toes are touching. Exhale into a twist with your right elbow coming to the left knee. Press the knees together. So then transfer the weight onto the left foot so the right toes pick up to the point towards the back of the mat. Slowly separate the knees, reach the toes back, slowly, 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 and then float them down to the floor. Inhale, lift the arms through in that runner's lunge. Soft bend in the back knee. Make sure your front knee is stepped over the ankle and most of the weight is driving through the heel of that front foot. Little pulses, back knee dropping towards the floor and down. Make sure the tailbone is dropping towards the floor as well so we're not back bending into it here. So if you're almost tucking tailbone, you might feel a bit of a stretch come through the front of this right thigh as well. So you get a double whammy. Keep it going. Take another four, three, 
two, one. Come into warrior three, leaning forwards, arms reach back, take a big breath in. Exhale, arms down and forwards for the back muscles switch on. Inhale, arms reach back. Exhaling forwards. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, come back into your chair pose. Arms reach up, pillow thighs. Take a big breath in. Exhale, into forward fold. Stretch out the legs. Take a halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, soften over. Step back into your plank position. And we're holding there. So drop onto forearms, either both at a time or one at a time is fine. So keeping either knees to the floor or knees floating is also fine here. You're going to drop one hip towards the ground. You can twist through the hips and then drop it around to the other side. So if you're on the toes, you're just kind of going side to side on the feet. If you're on the knees, side to side with your bum. If you're on the knees, try to get the hips towards the floor. If your knees are floating, maybe not taking them so far, see how your back's feeling. Really pulling belly to spine, and you use the exhale as the hips sink. Keep it going. It's a good one for the waistline. Nice and strong through the shoulders. Keep the breath going with it. Last couple. When you're about even, holding center. If they aren't already, bring the knees to the floor and bring the body to the ground. Reach the hands around behind you and then roll the shoulders down your back, finding a locust position so your fingers walk back towards the toes. Either you keep the palms down and the feet down. Next level up from here, if back's feeling okay, float the hands, turn the palms to face your thighs and then reach back even further. Maybe from here you lift the toes up. Think about the thighs trying to lift rather than your toes so the knees stay uh, straight, the knees don't bend. Maybe clasping the hands together behind your back and you reach further back. Chest is open, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Wherever you are, keep the back where it is. Slide the hands forwards in front of you and keep reaching out. Take a big breath in. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor underneath the shoulders. <sighs> Tuck the toes, elbows hug in, take a big breath in. As you exhale, push up to plank. <sighs> big strong push. So left hand or forearm to the center of the mat. We do a side plank, so you can either do this on the palm or on the forearm is fine. Right hand lifts up to ceiling. As a kind of halfway point, you can place the underneath knee to the floor for some support. From here, we lift the, the right leg up, and as you exhale, bring the knee and your elbow together, belly to spine. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee and elbow together. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen. Trust your arm. Exhale. <sighs> Last one. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale. Keep the knee bent, but bring this right hand back to the floor. Right knee against the right elbow. Drop the knee down to the right wrist. Across to the left wrist. Up to left elbow. Over to the right elbow. Take another box of this. So down, across to the left, up to the elbow, across to the right. One more. Down, across to the left, up to left elbow, over to the right. Step back into downward dog. Take a big breath in. And a sigh through the mouth. <sighs> Roll forwards into plank position. Coming into side plank with right hand or right forearm center. Roll onto the sides of the feet, lifting left hand up. Again, holding here. If you want to take the halfway point, then that right knee just steps to the floor underneath you. Float the left leg, take a breath in. As you exhale, bring knee and elbow together. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to squeeze. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the knee bent, but bring the hand to the floor and plank. 
Keep the knee with the left elbow, drop it down to the wrist. So you get across to right wrist, up to right elbow, across to left, down to wrist, over to right, up to the elbow. The last one, across to left, down to the wrist, over to right, up to elbow, back to the left, and into downward dog. Take a big breath in. And a full sigh out. Bring the knees to the floor. Keep the toes tucked under, come into kneeling position. Just roll the shoulders out, keep it as big as you want to. Maybe those full swings that we did at the start of the practice. Roll the neck, just ease off the shoulders. When you are ready, from here, we're gonna reach the hands out in front of you. Now look after your knees here. Any trick knee stuff, use the hands to help you. You're gonna rock the weight backwards so the knees pick up off the floor and then knees down to the floor. If you're on a hard surface, make sure you've got some padding under your knees. So think belly to spine, knees up, knees down, knees up, whoop, knees down. Last one, knees up, and then from here, nice and slowly, stay on the tiptoes, come all the way to standing, keep the hands reaching out. Stay on the tiptoes. Whoa. Stay on the tiptoes, stay on the tiptoes, reach the arms up above your head. Slowly place the heels down, let the arms come down. Whew, give the thighs a little pat, well done. So standing um, clock face that we have done before. So take the weight onto your left foot, bring the right knee into your chest, hands just resting at the, the heart center or on your hips, out in front of you, wherever feels best. So take a breath in. Imagine your leg is on a clock. As you exhale, bring the right heel to reach towards 12 o'clock, squat into the supporting leg, and try and keep that supporting knee forwards. Inhale, bring that right knee back up to your chest, straight and supporting leg. Exhale, squat into the supporting leg, reach the heel towards three o'clock. Inhale, reach the knee back up. Exhale, reach back to six o'clock. Inhale, knee to chest, good. Take the foot behind the supporting leg, reach over to nine o'clock, tricky and balance. Inhale, knee to chest, go back to nine o'clock again, behind the leg and out. You can be near a wall if you need to. Inhale, knee to chest. Reach back to six o'clock. Let the chest reach forwards like a warrior three. Inhale, knee to chest. Reach out to three o'clock. Inhale, knee to chest. And 12 o'clock. Inhale, knee to chest. And place the foot down. This is much harder on carpet, I have noticed, balancing on carpet. So other side, take the weight on your right foot as you inhale, knee to chest, left knee up, holding. Bend into supporting leg, reach the heel towards 12 o'clock. Inhale, straighten up, knee out to nine o'clock. Inhale, knee to chest, six o'clock, squat down. Inhale, knee to chest, go behind the leg to three o'clock over there or maybe kind of five o'clock i suppose inhale knee to chest come back the way you came over to the right inhale knee to chest back to six o'clock inhale knee to chest out to nine o'clock flex the foot inhale knee to chest and out to 12 o'clock Inhale, knee to chest. If you're still standing and haven't crashed into anything, well done. Place the foot to the floor. Give your legs a little bit of love. So come to a wall. You can kind of see me here. A wall or a door, anything that's flat to you. Your feet can be just a few inches away from the wall. I'm going to turn this a little bit so you can see me probably. Yeah. Okay. So your feet just a couple of inches away from the skirting board. Bring your back to the wall and then pull belly to spine so you're trying to flatten your back against the wall. You can use the glutes of the legs as much as you need to, but focus belly to spine pulling towards the wall. Lift the arms up above your head, try to keep the thumbs touching the wall and keep your back flattening into the wall. So you like your abdominals are pushing 
and back into the wall. If this is feeling easy, bring your feet closer to the wall as well. As much of your back stays flat to the wall as you can. Just holding, that's all we do, just holding, holding. Keep the thumbs connected, lower back connected, belly pulling into spine. Holding for about another 30 seconds. Really strong breath to keep back against the wall. Okay, bring the hands to shoulder height. Little bend in the knees, take the feet further forwards. Dip into the legs like you're in that chair pose again and flatten again, lower back to the wall. Bring your bum, just on my camera, I'm totally cheating that. So ankles underneath the knees and hips in line with the knees as well. So you've got this right angle. Lower back connected to the wall, reach forwards. Like your chair pose, have the big toes touching and your knees touching. I nearly said to have your big knees touching them. <laughs> Only big knees, please, no little ones. Deep breaths. Lift the arms up so thumbs are against the wall. Belly to spine, back against the wall. Take the arms wider if your shoulders are feeling tight. Yes, good holding. Push through the heels of the feet, reach arms forwards, come to standing from here, reach, ooh, lift the arms up, come back to your mat, <laughs> turn around and roll all the way down. Take a halfway lift as you inhale, exhale, step or jump to plank position, take a breath in, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, push up to upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Holding here, take two full breaths. Good, coming into the phase one and two of the flow that we've done the past few weeks. So you're gonna inhale, lift the right leg up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, step through to between the hands. Inhale, come into lunge, arms lift. Exhale, hands to mat. Same leg. Inhale, sweep it back up again. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hands to mat. One more round. Inhale, foot up. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift hands. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, lift the foot back up high, holding. Keep the foot lifted as you come into plank position. Holding. As you exhale, chaturanga, maybe place it underneath the knee down if you need to. Inhale, find cobra or up dog, placing the foot down. And exhale, come back into the downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a full breath out. Inhale, lift the left leg high. Exhale, step through to between the hands. Inhale, lift the arms up to lunge. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, lift the toes high. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to mat. One more round. Inhale, foot high. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to mat. Send the leg back up to the ceiling, take a big breath in. Keep the leg floating as you come into plank position. If you can, keep the leg floating, top round up. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. We add in phase two. So right leg lifts up, take a breath in. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to mat again. This time, inhale, take the back foot away from the floor. Doesn't have to go higher than your bum. Exhale, place the foot back down. Inhale, send the right leg back up to the ceiling. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the arms. 
Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, pick up back foot. Exhale, toes to mat. Inhale, lift right foot up. One more round. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the hands. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, lift back foot. Exhale, toes to mat. Lift the right leg back up again, holding. Come into plank position. Holding plank, holding plank. Maybe you keep the right hand on the floor and send the left arm forward to find a moment of balance. <laughs> Place the left hand down, take a breath in. Slow chest around, go for a count of five. Keep the elbows wrapping in. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift the chest back up. And exhale, come into downward facing dog. Well done. Take a huge breath in. And a big breath out. Left leg lifts up. Take a breath in. Exhale, step through to between the hands. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to mat. Lift the back leg up. Breathe in. Exhale, toes to mat. Inhale, left leg sweeps high. Second round, exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to mat. Toes up at the back, inhale. Exhale, toes to the hand. Inhale, lift left leg back up, third round. Exhale, step through. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, hands to mat. Inhale, lift back foot. Exhale, toes to mat. Inhale, lift front foot, holding. Come into your plank position with the left leg floating, holding, keep the weight from the left hand, maybe reaching the right hand forward, you can see on the fingertips if that's kind of a halfway compromise, push the floor away that supporting arm, make sure you're breathing, place the left arm down, slow chaturanga for count of five, four, elbows tuck in, three, two, one, Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, come back into downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. Bring your uh, knees to the floor. It's going to just all fours or child's pose. Have a moment to breathe. And we're going to come back over to a wall. Just stay off the legs. Back to the shoulders. So you want your feet, your arms, sorry, to be uh, leg distance away from your wall. So start with the feet against the wall. Plant the hands down next to your bum. Keep the hands where they are. Just spin yourself around and replace the hands where they were. Okay, so you just got leg distance away from the wall. Come into a downward dog. Bring one foot to the wall. See if this is new to you. See if you can press in to both feet find the wall. You can stay there for as long or as short time as feels good for your shoulders. Those of you that are familiar with this, come into that downward dog against the wall and push the chest back towards the legs. The legs can stay bent, this is more about the shoulders, so wherever feels best. So if you're holding here, shrug the shoulders, we come right up to the ears, push the floor away, and then let the shoulders just sink into your back. And then push the floor away, and let shoulders sink into your back. Strong push, slowly into back. Take another three, push, slowly into back. Two, push, slowly into your back. And then the last one, push, slowly into back. Holding wherever you are, take three breaths. Straighten the legs if you can, so in that complete L shape against the wall. Two breaths. Last breath. You're still up to the end. Well done. Bring the feet to the mats. Hold a forward fold. Just take the weight off your arms. Roll the wrists. Roll the shoulders. Have a sway side to side. And then from here, bring yourself to your mat again. If you need to, see if you need to come up, come up nice and slowly after being upside down a while. Grab your uh, block or your object, whatever that is. And come into a really kind of shallow straddle. This room is 
really bad for um, seeing me, but let's see if I can sort this out a little bit. Okay, hopefully you can see me a little bit, good. So come into a um, really shallow straddle, okay? The blocks on the inside of your feet, hands against the heart center. I'll give you a tip that is way easier if your back is resting into a wall or a sofa or something to lean back in. This is harder if you are not. So I know some of you on here, Sarah, can be without wall. So hands to heart center, lift up as tall as you can for your back. Pick up your right leg and hook it to the inside of your object. Same leg, hook it back over again. Go on the inside, on the outside. Try to keep the torso as steady as you can. In and out. Again, you can up level this, making your objects higher. <laughs> or lifting the arms up. You can down level it, take the, ball, take the object away and imagine it's there. Just a little hook. Good, one more round, over and over. And then go to the left side, looking in, looking out. And keep it going. So again, if it's feeling easy, take the uh, object higher or lift your leg higher. Try and keep your back as steady as you can. It's tough work. <laughs> it's really gross. Last one, keep it on the outside. I'm going to keep mine in a little bit closer. So we do both legs, lift up and in. Heels and up and out. Up and in, up and out. Do one more in. I can see Sarah Rose nailing this. Good, and then give your legs a little shake out. A little bit of love for the quads. Good, keep a, if you have a block, keep that nearby. You can come down to the floor. Yeah, maybe more abs today. So come down to your mat, feet to the ground. And if you again have your block, have a block with you. Uh, if you have an object, this also works fine, and no block also works fine for this too. So no worries either way, wherever you are. So we're going to bring your um, feet up off the ground, knees above the hips, and to more of a 90 degree angle, ankles can drop down slightly. Just find a point where your lower back stays on the floor. Bring the block against the left thigh, and your left hand, so same hand as leg, against the block or against the leg, if you don't have one, it's fine. So hand or forearm, wherever it kind of feels best to be. Reach the right arm up to the ceiling. Take a big breath into your belly. And as you exhale, reach the right leg forwards. Keep lower back pressing into the floor and pull the lower abdominals down. Inhale, bend the knee back in again. Exhale, reach right leg forwards, pull the lower belly down. Take two more. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, reach the leg forwards. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, reach the leg forwards. Inhale, bend the knee. Switch your arms. So keep the block with the left leg, just from the right hand or forearm to the block. Reach the left hand up to the ceiling. This time I'm going to add in a holding of the breath. So you inhale, hold in the breath and press the hand and the leg together. So right hand and left leg together. Then exhale, reach the right leg forwards. Keep the lower belly, lower back coming down. Inhale, bend the knee. Hold the breath, find the pressing. Exhale, reach right leg forwards, pull belly down. Inhale, bend the knee. Hold the breath, press them together. Exhale, reach right leg forwards. Last one, inhale, bend the knee. Hold the in-breath, press. Exhale, reach right leg forwards. Inhale, bend the knee. Switch the legs, so they start with your right hand against the block on the right leg or right arm, wherever you want to be is fine, wherever it feels good. You just want to maintain some pressure between them. Reach the left hand forwards, keep lower back connected to the ground. Take a big breath in. Exhale, reach left leg forwards. Barely pulls down. Inhale, bend the knee. 
Exhale, left leg forwards. Keep your lower back connected to the floor. Inhale, bend. Exhale to straighten. Inhale, bend back in. Switch the arms so it's your left hand with the right leg pressure and right arm reaching up to ceiling. Take a breath in. This time, hold the breath, really press the hand and the arm, the leg together. Then exhale, reach the left toes forwards, pull the belly button down. Inhale, bend the knee. Hold in the breath, press the arm and leg together. Exhale, reach the left toes forwards, pull the belly down. Two more slow breaths. Inhale, hold the breath, press. Exhale, reach the left toes forwards, pull the belly down. Inhale, last one. Hold the breath, press. Exhale, reach the left leg forwards, pull the belly down. Inhale, bend the knee. Take the block out to one side. Just hug the knees into your body. Take a little rock side to side. We're going to do another ab set. You can do this with feet on the floor as a kind of down level or feet off the floor for up level. Your right leg hooks over the left one like an eagle wrap of the legs and maybe wrapping again, particularly if your feet are floating, that might feel easier. Bring your left hand onto the right thigh and the right hand on top of the left one. Your hands are just stacked one on top of the other. Keep your lower back connected to the floor. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, press the hands and the legs in towards each other as you pull the belly down. Inhale, just relax the pressure. Exhale again, press the hands and the legs together as you pull the belly down. Huge breath out. Inhale, relax the tension. Two more. Exhale to press. Inhale, relax the tension. Exhale to press. Inhale, relax the tension, unravel the legs in the best possible taste. And then wrap the left one over the right. Again, you can keep one foot on the floor or both feet floating. Wrap the legs if you're floating. So your right palm comes to that upper left thigh and the left hand on top of the right one. Lower back falls into the floor. So bring the knees closer to you if you need to. Take a big breath in. Exhale, press the hand and the leg together. Pull the belly down. Inhale, relax the tension slightly. Exhale, press them together, pull the belly down. Two more breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Relax the tension, unravel the legs. We have one more set. Give the legs a shake out if you need to, anything. Right leg, again, hooks over the left. Again, you can do this one foot on the floor and just use the upper body, or your feet are floating and use lower and upper. Hands reach to the ceiling, palms together. Fold at the elbows, so the elbows or forearms can come connected as well. As you inhale, try to reach the fingers back behind you, so fingertips tap the floor, maintaining those elbows drawing towards each other as much as we can. Reach the toes forwards, take a breath in. As you exhale, bring the elbows and the knees together as you lift the head and shoulders up. Inhale, reach fingers back, toes forwards. Exhale, scooping in for two. Inhale, reaching back. Exhale, in for three. Inhale, reaching back. Exhale, in for four. Inhale, reach back, unravel the legs, switching sides. Inhale, reaching back, toes forwards. Exhale, in for one, belly down. Inhale, reaching back, keep those elbows squeezing together. Exhale, in for two. Inhale, reach. Exhale, three. Inhale, reach. Exhale, four. Inhale, reach. Unravel the legs. Bring the feet to the floor and the arms out through the sides into cactus. Give your legs a little rock side to side. My quads are on fire today. 
Take your feet as wide as the mat. We're going to stretch out those quads because mine definitely need a stretch. Drop your knees over to the right and then use your left hand to grab the left foot and tuck the heel to your bum. Reach the left knee forwards and then down towards the floor. To deepen in here, slightly tuck the tailbone as though you're bringing your lower back towards the ground. Take a really full breath. So each time you exhale, you feel the belly pull down. It's going to help keep that lengthening of the muscle tissue across the quads and hip flexor. Take a huge round of breath. And then stacking this left knee on top of the right one, bring yourself into a twist. So any variation of a twist that feels good. Keep the knees away from you for a little bit of, kind of softness or tuck them in if you want to deepen into the spine. You can lengthen that left leg out for a kind of double whammy stretch or twist um, to stretch into the back of that leg. Support it with the right hand. Keep the shoulders grounded. Take a big breath, and then bend the knees, bring the knees back through to the center. Feet, hips distance, or sorry, a mat distance. Drop both knees over to the left. So this time your right hand grabs the right ankle and tuck the foot round behind your thumb. Reach the right knee forwards and then down to the floor. At the same time, think tucking the tailbone so you bring your back as close to the floor as it feels able to come. That heel nice and close towards the buttock, so we're not pinching too much into knee. Wow. Really deep breaths, moving that lower belly as you breathe. Take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, stack that right knee on top of the left one so you come into a twist. Again, any variation. So either keep it really soft, if that does good for your back, or lengthen it out for a double whammy leg stretch as well. Keeping the shoulders grounded. Take a breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, bring them back up to the center. Take any last little rocks or anything that you need to. And then lengthen the legs out flat or keep the knees bent, whatever feels best for a Shavasana. I'm just invite you to take a full body stretch just with the upper body if your legs are already bent. Just stretch out head to toe. Take a couple of deep, full breaths to really expand the ribs on your inhale. Exhale, pulls the ribs back down. Again, a huge breath in like you're stretching the abdominals from the inside out. And exhale, pull the ribs down. Bring your fingertips to the space at the back of the neck, the kind of where your neck meets the shoulders, in that kind of squishy bit of your traps so you always feel like you need a massage in. Give yourself a bit of a massage. And then run the fingers up the neck until you find that base ridge of the skull. Again, just run the fingers around that ridge of the skull, give the uh, skull a bit of a massage either side of the spine, and around that ridge line of your skull, the occiput ridge, and sometimes hold a lot of tension to get in there as much as you want to. And then run the fingers through the back of the head, lift the head slightly off the floor, like you're lengthening the hair away from underneath your head. Let the head come back to the ground and replace the arms down to the sides of the body. Let everything go floppy. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, see if you can go even floppier. Allow the body to come into stillness and softness.
And then take another huge breath in. And a big breath out. One leg at a time. Bring the knees in towards your chest. Take your time. Hug the knees in and rock side to side on your back. Just massaging your back into the floor. Either roll yourself to one side or take a gentle rock to seated. Bring the hands to the legs or to the heart center. Lifting tall through the back. And just bring to mind one thing that you can feel grateful for today. Acknowledge one thing that you like about yourself today. And one thing that you have gained or released from getting to your yoga mat today. Maybe set yourself the intention to meet us there against you. Closing that gratitude, self-compassion and achievement into the heart space. Take a huge breath in. And exhale, bow your head to your hands. Thank you guys, well done. Namaste, awesome work. If you have any requests of things that you wanna strengthen into or do next time, let me know. And I'll see you soon. Well done. <laughs>